Hi, good morning. Today I'm going to give a, a demo class on uh, fractions. So usually uh, fractions, uh, we know that uh, there will be uh, some sort of a uh, division sort of a uh, things. Okay, there is the upper part will be called as the numerator and the uh, bottom part will be called as your denominator. Suppose we will be always seeing, suppose five by seven, so this five by seven, the upper part will be called as the uh, numerator and the bottom part will be called as the denominator. And here there are uh, types of fraction. One is a proper fraction or like fractions or improper fractions or also called as unlike fractions. How we will classify uh, proper fractions and improper fractions. Proper fractions in the sense means the numerator value will be always less than the denominator value. See here, we can see a five. In the numerator, we have five. And in the denominator, we have a seven. So the numerator is less than the denominator. So we will be calling this as a proper fraction. Suppose uh, the seven by five, example, seven by five, when we are having so here the numerator is like greater than the denominator value. When the numerator is greater than the denominator, that we will be calling the improper fraction. The improper fraction can be expressed as a, a mixed numeral uh, with a, a formula that is Q R by D. What is Q means that is the quotient and R which stands for reminder and D which is that stands for a dividend. Suppose when you divide the seven by five, okay? So seven by five, one fives are five and the reminder you will get a two, okay? So this can be written uh, as a, a mixed numeral with a formula Q R by D where the quotient is like, <clears throat> you have the quotient which is one and the one and the reminder you have two and the dividend you have five. So seven by five can be expressed as one, two by five as a mixed numeral. So that is, you can convert the mixed numeral five ones are five plus two, that is five plus two, which is seven by five. So improper fractions can also be expressed as a mixed numerator. So some of the operations we will see here, that is how the uh, fractions addition and subtraction or multiplication or divisions can be done. First, when we come for addition and subtraction, the first thing is suppose we will take example five by four plus two by four. The same example we can take for the subtraction five by four minus two by four. When we take here, what is the first things you need to observe here is, you need to observe whether the denominator is same or different. Uh, comparing here in these examples provided, the denominator are found to be a uh, same. And the operation which is given here is addition. So what you have to do is, if there is a same denominator for addition and subtraction, then you can put out the same denominator four. And in the numerator part, just like normal addition, you have to do. What is five plus two? Five plus two is seven. That is the answer. Whereas in the subtraction, we have seen the denominators are same. So write down the denominator as it is, that is four. And five minus two is three, just like normal. Uh, subtraction you have to do. Now, what will happen when we have a different denominator? Suppose when I have one plus two plus one by four, how I have to do it? First step is here, I have found the denominators are different. So first step is I need to take the LCM of two and four. The LCM of two and four is since four is coming in the second table, then probably the LCM will be a four only. 
So we'll find the LCM. This will be divisible by two. One twos are two. Two twos are four. And then again two. One comma one. So the LCM, if you multiply two into two, that is four. So denominator, we have to write the LCM value. Now, what we have to do it in the numerator is uh, like, we need to do a normal addition. No, what you have to do is for the first uh, fraction that is one by two, to the denominator, they have given two. With this two, if you multiply with what number you will get this LCM. If I multiply with two, I will get the LCM value of four. The same multiplication by two, you have to do it in the numerator. So one, two, zero, two plus the next value is one by four to the denominator. If I multiply with what number I will get the LCM value four. So I need to multiply with one. So the same thing you have to repeat in the numerator. That is one, one, zero, one. So the answer will be three by four. So this is how you need to do uh, the addition, if you have a different denominator, the same thing will be continued for subtraction, only the operation instead of addition, you have to put out subtraction simple here in the, during, uh, during evaluating, you have to do it. So suppose here one minus two, one by two, minus one by four is there, then two minus one by four, that is one by four. So like this, you have to do. So how to do the multiplication? In the multiplication or division, when you are doing, you need not worry about whether you have a same denominator or different denominator. Only thing is we will be like uh, seeing whether we are having a same denominator or a different denominator only during addition and subtraction. Whereas in multiplication, we will not consider this. Suppose if you are having five by two multiplied with two by four, both the numerator as well as the denominator, you have to do just like normal multiplication. Five twos are 10, two fours are eight. If they ask you to express the fraction in a simplest form, then you need to cancel Five twos are 10, four twos are eight. So the answer will be five by four. Like this you have to do. Suppose you are having five by two multiplied with one by two. You are having a same denominator. It doesn't mean that you have to write here. Too. No, in multiplication, you need not consider about whether you are having a same or different. You have to do the numerator multiplication five ones are five two twos are four so five by four is the answer so how to do the division part suppose here you're having six by 12 this has to be divided by three by one one by three sorry so how to do means first part you can write six by 12 as it is then you have to put multiplication and the second part you can write as the reciprocal, that is three by one. So now this becomes a multiplication. So six threes are 18 and 12 ones are 12. Now you can make it as a, a simplest form that is three six are 18 and two six are 12. So the answer will be three by 12. So this is how we need to do. So these are the basics of the fractions we have seen uh, uh, different types of fractions and how to express the fraction, improper fraction as a mixed numeral. And we have seen the basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Baijusti.